Alright, welcome back to SoFlow TV again everybody. It is your host with the most blessed Sabbath to those who observe the Sabbath on a Saturday. I feel some type of way because I guess I'm relating from a parent's perspective after watching this girl's mother speak. My daughter was on the ground, not responding, not saying anything, not moving. I heard that it looked like one of her foot was broken because it was bent way back. And the girl, a girl by the name of Chrissy, she was also in the fight. I heard that she stomped my child. She stomped her. Eyewitnesses said she stomped her. Tiffany gave this report. Tiffany gave the report. Sharma gave the report to the police that they stomped my child. The police is looking for them. And every time the police go, they hide. They know that she's on life support now. She's on life support. <laughs> Read this on her own. Kaylan is not responding. The doctors are saying that she has a spinal injury. Kaylan's leg. So I'm going to give you some up-to-date information as it was posted in the Star straight out of Jamaica. And then we're going to talk about the details of the story. Now, kind of foolish miss when I make no sense. Friends of the other patron reportedly joined in the fight. The fight, and I heard that when she was on the ground, they kicked her. Bunch of ladies, you know, beating a little girl, they kicked her. She got a stab to the neck. She had to do a surgery on that. She says about six adult women reportedly began fighting Kaylan and her friend while part. Here's the thing, I wasn't there. I got this story about a um, couple of days ago. Somebody said, so Flo, do something upon this. And I asked the couple of people that sent me the story to send me a link somewhere where I can start with my own investigation. And I looked around online and I couldn't find anything. So I never covered the story. Well, it's in the star now, so it is well covered. All right, so shout out to the star for this one. Listen to the details of the story and we're going to talk. All I can say, see, is these are the reasons why war will never be done between us and my people. The way we treat each other. Because if I did Fimmy Picnic, <laughs> everything rise up around us up. Listen, for those of you who just tuned in to SoFlow TV, you're new to the format, you've never tuned in before, I am a Jamaican. And when I am passionate about something or when Jamaicans get extra excited or emotionally touched about something, you're usually able to tell that they're Jamaican because even if they're speaking to you in proper English, slave master language, Queen's English, if they're touched emotionally by a subject, then they're going to hear some patwa come out like this. So for those of you who don't really understand the patwa part, just ask somebody to explain to you, this is a rather touchy subject. I'm going to get into it. So, Star leaked out and said a girl beaten to brink of death. And that was published November 13th. That was yesterday. Today is the 14th. At, on the Star. So, here's the story. There are only smiling faces when Kaylan Dowdy is around. That's her name. The 17-year-old past student of Papine High School is described as the comedian of her household as she make everybody laugh, you know? So, it was no surprise when she told her mom that she wanted a career in acting. Unfortunately, the teen's loved ones may never get a chance to hear her contagious laugh again as she is currently on life support at the University Hospital of the West Indies, UHWI, after she was beaten by a group of women last Saturday night along the Barbican Road. Now the first thing I ask myself is, she's 17. She get beaten along Barbican Road at night. What she do a road at night? But that's for a whole nother conversation. Her mother... Venetia Buckley was in tears when the star spoke with her yesterday. And this is what she said. The mom said, I'm just coming from the hospital and the doctors are telling me that she is not going to make it. So, why? Hmm. 
is one percent chance them give me baby to live just one percent the one percent is just because her eyes are open my baby cannot breathe on her own at all so she's on a ventilator right the doctors say that they can't take her off the machine they beat my baby and gave her one percent at life this is what the mother was saying Buckley said that she was told that the fight started at a party and that her daughter was attending on Boise Lane. Here's what she said also. I was told that a girl asked her why she was looking at my daughter, why she was looking at her in that manner. Or what she look for for? You know, people ask you, I asked your promise or boy, you know me? Or why are you looking at me like that? It was one of them kind of things there. Where I steer upon me suffer? Or where I look upon me suffer? And the daughter responded by saying, Is what she take to see her. So she probably asked back, How will you take see me? Right? Where I look upon me suffer? How will you take see me? Where you take see me could be determined as something disrespectful, but it's a smart, sly way of saying, you're asking me when me I look upon you so far and I'm telling you I'm asking you but I'm telling you that it's the same eyes that you're using to see me looking at you that I'm using to see you you know what I'm saying so it was that kind of a conversation tense from the beginning I heard that the girl began to flare up and an argument ensued just so gotta be more to this story now based on what I heard the girl or my daughter did not know each other. This is the mother talking, according to Star. The girl or my daughter did not know each other. That's what Mummy heard, you know. There's another story out here to this story. All right? Mummy heard say the girl or her daughter did not know each other. The girl hit her, and while the fight started, another woman came up and hit her, my daughter, with a Hennessy bottle. Hit her in the head with a Hennessy bottle. All of them, about six of them, turned on my daughter and beat her. Buckley said the woman continued to beat Kaylin even when she fell to the ground and they also stabbed her in her back. You see, that's why I said on a previous video that I'm all for carrying a licensed firearm and I'm all for upping and busting because keep your hand to yourself. Nobody is trying to fight fear anymore in these days and times. Nowadays you decide, say, you know what, I'm not a punk, I could fight. So you're going to give a man a fear fight or give a next female a fear fight. And in the process, you end up getting stabbed up. So ain't nobody trying to risk their life like that anymore. But give me a fear one. Anyhow, what this sounds like so far is that she got jumped. The girl probably at the party rolling thick have our friends and family members there with her and Kaylan is probably there on her own right now why I'm in a know if she didn't know that that was what the case was she probably would have ran or sometimes at 17 years old you feel so full of adrenaline and you know you, you, you just stay a certain way your head hot can't really even talk yourself down and you're not thinking well I'm not gonna fight that person here because they might be in here rolling deep and I might get jumped. Spur the moment, fight break out. Either way, majority of us, first response, if we're hit in public, we're not thinking how many people you're rolling with. We're thinking hit back, fight, save myself, right? All right, so Buckley said that the woman continued to beat her even when she fell to the ground and then they also stabbed her in her neck not in her back, in her neck. That is the stab that probably went to the spinal cord or something. Now, while this was happening, everyone at the party was just standing and enjoying the show. No one came to her assistance. One of her friends was running up and down trying to get help, so she was not alone then. But she was laying on the ground for over an hour as persons were pronouncing her dead. This is what the mom said she heard. So her daughter is laying on the ground for over an hour. Over an hour. That's a long time. 
The funny thing with us now is Bujabantan come out and talk about it. A lot of other people have spoken about it because we've seen it trending all the time. You there getting frigged up on the ground, right? You're clinging to life. And our people will either be like, yeah, beat up the girl, thump her again. Or they'll egg the fight on or they'll pull out their cell phones and instead of looking for help for you, they're videotaping, recording it so they can post it on social media later for views and likes. So long gone are the days when somebody would have jumped in and said, no, 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 no fighting here, so I party this. We come for party, stop. Matter of fact, listen, when one owner dead and one end up in prison, how that solve anything? Go your separate ways, man. Where's the big people with a step in? People stand up and enjoy these things nowadays. It's just a crazy world we're living in. Buckley said that the woman continued to beat her even when she fell to the ground and then they stabbed her in her neck. Now, while this was happening, everyone at the party was standing and enjoying the show. Buckley said that she had just come home from work when she got the spine-chilling news and instantly went to the hospital where she saw her daughter, Kaylin, unconscious. These females are heartless, evil, and wicked. They are monsters. They are very evil for jumping my child. I can't wish anything good for them and all who stand around and watch the attack. I can't hide my feelings or my conscience. You see, to the people them who were at this party and you saw, and you did nothing, then this is your burden and karma is watching you. You see, to the people who enjoyed it, egged it on, encouraged it, took out to the phone and film, met joke and laugh while this was going on like it was some kind of entertainment, you owe it to this girl to speak to law enforcement in details about exactly what you witnessed and you owe it to the life of another human being like yourself to testify in a court if it is required to point out who you saw did what to get some kind of justice for this young lady we don't care about each other no more <laughs> these females are heartless man that's what the mom said right now the head of the St. Andrew North Police Division this is how an indifferent story comes in the head of the St. Andrew North Police Division Superintendent Aaron Fletcher said that investigations of course are currently being conducted they're carried out on the way what I know though this is what he said this is the head of the St. Andrew North Police Division Superintendent Aaron Fletcher, according to the Star. What I know is that there was a fight among a total of five females who were in attendance at the party. So that's a different story right away. Because I said six women beat her, so she would make number seven, right? If six beat her, she would have made number seven. Unless me, that bad at maths. But from what superintendent is hearing, it was a total of five females, which means that would include her and four other females beating her, right? What I know is that there was a fight among a total of five females, a total of five, who were in attendance at the party. My information is that the dispute started by the way of a quarrel over a male. They were fighting over man essentially and that would have resulted in two of them being injured and taken to the hospital so it's not she alone go hospital for injuries one was treated and released while the other who is 17 years old has been admitted in serious condition said Fletcher Fletcher also said that no permit was actually granted for this party now, on the north side, we're under lockdown, COVID rules and regulations, and party can't just keep like that. So if no permit was given for this party, this is called an illegal party. So what is she at 17 doing pan road at night? They are party a fight if they have nothing to do with no man and attending a party that is illegal. 
You say sometimes when you stay on a yard. Sometimes me and my house I'm just bored enough. But I find something to do. Because guess what the worst happens is. I wake up the next morning. I still have all of my money. And I still have health and strength. Wasn't in no mix up last night with nobody and no craziness. A 17 year old though. Now you have to put this in context of how I'm talking now because my son just graduated high school, my oldest, and he's 18. He just turned 18. So me looking at this is like comparing it to someone who is his age or his age group. You know what I'm saying? So I could very well have been her father or her parent. It could very well have been my child and a different story or same story, just different person. Now, Hopster says, foolish adolescents fighting over men who only want them for sex. I really want to know why no one intervened on that brutal fight. No police call or anything. I hope they get thrown in jail and fined. I hope the young woman recovers from her injury. Well, it's gonna take a miracle because when doctors give you a 1% chance to live, I already know saying no, when the most high say yeah, man can't say anything else they want to say, but it's going to go the way of the most high. However, it don't look good. Once you're on life support, it don't look good. Sheldon John said, this is a very sad story and I pray for this young girl. I pray for God to put his hands on her and perform a miracle. However, young girls, please use this as an example to guide you. Please listen to your teachers and self-respecting mothers who are respectable and lead by example. At a tender age of 17 years old, the main focus should be on school, education and your future. Not a boyfriend or a man. That should not be the main focus. All those other quests, all those other quests in the dance or guests, sorry, in the dance. All those other guests in the dance are truly horrible monsters as well. Standing by, watching, recording, on their phones. Where is your compassion for life? Social media seems to be the Antichrist and the Jamaican culture has adopted and is now fully involved in the new era. Social media has given everyone a microphone. So now these microphones bring out the worst of the worst. They can now crawl out of their hidden holes and they can finally be seen and heard. But I personally have no time for them because once I see them, I know who they are. And CC says, <laughs> ja ja. Now, I'm gonna say this. There are many sides to a story and we were not there. As a person that is a big advocate for self-defense, you see? I don't know if this girl was a hothead and she hit somebody first and then this person was forced to defend themselves and there are people who were there probably saw them getting beat and jump in and then they were not getting beat anymore it was just five or six on one I don't know how the story went so I can't come speak to you like them wicked them this and that to the girl because honestly speaking right None of us are going to stand around and watch our siblings or our children or our close friends fight and get beat up or get jumped or anything like that. If we're there, we're more than likely probably going to jump in at some kind of way, even intervene if we're not going to fight to try to break up the fight. Right? So I don't know how this fight starts. It don't look good they're asking for help to bring these ladies in I've been told right before I started doing this video that these women have already turned themselves into authorities as you can see by the article that I just read it said nothing in there from the superintendent that any of the females had turned themselves in as yet so we're gonna follow this story closely and we're gonna see what comes out of it I'm hearing on another side that they turned themselves in and they've all been let go except for one.
I don't know how true that is. I haven't verified, I haven't found any information to verify that yet. Right? Sad situation. Sad situation. I don't know how much more we're going to talk about, but maybe this is a topic that we have to beat to death. How much more we're going to talk about how badly we have the need for conflict resolution to develop and foster the ability in our young people to be able to disagree with each other, don't like each other, but don't kill each other for whatever the reasons are. It's like life is not respected anymore and every disagreement or fight ends in a life being taken. We have to do better. All right, so keeping things in context, we must remember, sir, there were many eyewitnesses there. All right, and this is another version of the story or events that took place from people that are saying that they were there. Somebody said all this started because Tiffany wanted to fight girl over her man. Now, Tiffany is not Kaylan. Kaylan is the girl that is injured that is in the hospital and life support. Tiffany is her friend. But Kaylan, the girl who is injured, was at Shortwood Lane attending a nine night. You know, a setup when people dead, we keep those. When Tiffany called her and another friend to go with her to go to a social gathering that her boyfriend was hosting. Tiffany's boyfriend was keeping a party and Tiffany friend, I mean Tiffany's boyfriend was keeping a party and Tiffany called Kaylan, which is now injured, and another girl to go with her to the party. Apparently, Tiffany had heard that our man a key party and his ex-girl is over there. So she went to the party. She said, get up our friend them, go to the party, go see which girl they bought to their own of my man thing. So it basically is a fight man, fight girl over man thing. I go go on, right? It turns out if you read all these, you will get a better understanding of the other version of the story. So according to this version, it just seemed like Sir Kaylan was actually helping her friend defend a thing and that went sour. And that's the other version that's out there, which is similar to the version that the superintendent gave. We're going to follow this thing and see what happened. But damn, this is a sad situation. And this girl is on the brink of life because of this type of foolishness. A grand spend me come from me will lick a girl in her face. Hmm. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I could talk about this. I'm out. Peace.